Hi everyone, welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you a simple old time recipe. It's a delicious sticky treacle loaf. Now, this is really easy to make. I'll show you the recipe now, but please subscribe to the channel, make your comments down below. Let's get on and make this sticky treacle loaf. So these are the ingredients you'll need. We've got two and a half cups of plain all-purpose flour straight into a stand mixing bowl. Now you can do this with a regular mixer in a bowl, or you could probably do it by hand, but it's much easier in a stand mixer. I've got half a cup of nicely softened room temperature salted butter, three quarters of a cup of soft brown sugar, one tablespoon of mixed spice. This is the mixed spice I made yesterday in that video, and so it's a lovely fresh mixed spice. You can use any mixed spice or pumpkin spice, but one big heap tablespoon. And the most important ingredient of all, the dark black treacle. Now, guys, if you don't know what treacle is, it's basically uh, similar to molasses. You could use molasses, but if you can get it, get a dark brown treacle. So I'm just gonna get the last of that treacle out of here now with a little spatula. And then two whole eggs. Now a little bit later on, not now, we're gonna be adding a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, but for the moment, we'll pop this onto the mixer and mix it with a paddle mixer for a good two minutes. Now you may need to pause occasionally and just push all the mixture down into the center of the bowl. Now that really only takes a couple of minutes and then we're just going to take this beautiful, rich, treacle smelling loaf batter and just get it all off and put it into the bowl. Now if you have a little taste of that now guys, that is absolutely delicious on its own <laughs> and I could almost eat it just like this. Now the final stage is to take a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda or baking soda and add one tablespoon of cold water into that and just a little fizz, we'll just mix that through a tiny bit. And then I'm going to add that into the mix. And with a spoon, I'm just going to mix that through into my batter. And I've got a two pound baking tin here and I've lined it with some baking paper. And I'm just gonna pour our mixture into our loaf tin. Now after that spoon into there, we're just gonna push it out as flat as we can get it. It's not too important to, to make it too flat, it will even out as it cooks. Now this loaf wants to slow cook, so we're gonna put the oven on at 325 degrees, that's 170 Celsius, and we're just going to bake that for about an hour. Keep an eye on the loaf, we wanna get a nice golden brown on top. Now you have to be patient, don't be peeking at this while it's cooking, otherwise it will sink. It'll still taste delicious, but really we want a risen cake. Um, if you've got a glass door, keep an eye on it. If you haven't, you can't see in it, leave it at least 45 minutes, 50 minutes before you start uh, peeking inside. Okay, let's get this in the oven. But by the way guys, stick with me because we're gonna be making your ginger butter and that comes up next. Now while our treacle loaf cooks, we're gonna take some beautiful fresh young ginger. Now I've got a piece here. I'm gonna take about an inch of ginger off of this and I'm gonna chop it up really finely. So we're just gonna take an inch off the end of the ginger. Just take the skin off. Very easy just to, to roll the knife around the edge of the ginger and just peel off the skin. So then we just want to take our ginger and this beautiful young fresh ginger and then we're just gonna slice it into little thin julienne slices. So I've gone through and really sliced the ginger very small. I want it, uh, you could use a, a crushing method or you could even probably use a garlic press to do this, but we really want nice fine slices of ginger. So I have my ginger all prepared there. I'm just gonna take uh, half a cup or 225 grams of softened butter again into a bowl. Could I add my ginger in with that as well? And then using a whisk or a wooden spoon, I want you to just beat that ginger just whip the butter and ginger together. Get some air into the butter. So we get a nice, light, creamy butter. Then I'm going to take that butter out and just put it into a little serving dish. Now if that's left overnight, that will get even richer and stronger in flavor, or you can serve it straight away. 
So there is our ginger butter, and if it lasts well, it gets better with age, but we're going to be using this pretty quickly. So you'll see our loaf now has been baking for 55 minutes, almost one hour. It's a very dark brown on the top, which is exactly what we want. And I'm just going to let that go the full hour and then I'll take it out. You want to stick a little skewer into it and if it pulls out uh, uh, completely clean, the loaf is definitely cooked. Now there is our sticky treacle loaf straight out of the oven that is piping hot. And I just took a skewer and stuck it into the loaf. And when it pulls out, I've got my baking gloves on there guys, beautifully and clean like that, you know the loaf is cooked. Now we're going to leave that for a good 10 to 15 minutes to cool down in the tin and then I'll knock it out of the loaf tin and we'll put it onto a cooling rack to let it completely cool down. Okay, here's the moment. The treacle loaf has completely cooled down. Now it's maybe just a tiny bit warm. The house smells like heaven and I'm about to cut us off a slice of this. Now, I won't go too dainty. Now look at that guys. I mean that is beautiful. That is so rich and so treacly. Okay, I'm gonna get this end here. I'm gonna take some of our lovely ginger butter and I'm just going to spread it fairly liberally across our treacle bread. Well, here goes guys, sticky treacle loaf. And I have to finish that before I can speak. That is absolutely delicious, just the way I remember it. Really rich with the taste of treacle. Guys, if you haven't had this before, you haven't lived. Try Sticky Treacle Loaf. Subscribe to the channel, Steve's Kitchen. Be good, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching again, guys. The Treacle Loaf was absolutely delicious. And don't forget the spices, the video for making the mixed spices on the channel as well. I'll leave a couple of links up here to some other videos and subscribe above. I'd love to hear your comments, any requests. Be good, I'll see you in the next video.